Welcome to a short presentation of Document Capture, an add-on solution for Dynamics NAV. With Document Capture, you can scan, register and archive all your company documents. When you handle purchase invoices, Document Capture will scan and automatically recognize vendor, payment information and invoice lines. You can handle contracts and agreements, which can be registered on a specific job, fixed asset or a specific item. Through its configurable templates, Document Capture can handle an unlimited number of document types. Document Capture has a flexible template engine, which makes it possible to automatically search the document and capture fields and information from a set of predefined field captions. With Document Capture, users can approve purchase invoices either through the NAV client or directly from a web browser through the Document Capture Web Approval module. This means that users who are not using the NAV client will still be able to approve their invoices. Document Capture works with both NAV Classic and the Role Tailored client, and you will be able to find a presentation online for both versions. I will now show you how to scan and register purchase invoices, approve them, and make them ready for payment. The first thing I do is to scan the physical invoices. As an alternative to scanning, I can receive the invoices in PDF format, which can be processed directly by the application. All invoices have now been scanned as well as OCR processed and they are now ready to be registered. The actual registration is done in the document journal. From the document journal you will find a complete archive of all previously registered and rejected documents. In the upper left of the screen there's a list of all pending invoices which are ready to be registered. To the right there's a copy of the scanned invoice. In the lower left-hand side, there's a list of all the fields that have been recognized and which should be registered on this invoice. The list of fields that should be recognized and registered can be easily customized. For example, you might have a job number or a department code that you want to recognize and register on all new invoices. These fields can be easily added through the Document Capture's flexible document templates. Each field has a set of formatting and validation rules which give you a very high quality of recognition and also ensures that each field conforms to the appropriate rules and standards. The list of fields have click and capture. This means that when I highlight a field in the list, the source area where the value was taken from will be automatically highlighted in the image to the right. If a value was taken from the wrong place in the invoice, I can simply click the right place in the scanned document image and the value will be automatically transferred to the list of fields. This change will be remembered so that the next time an invoice is received from the same vendor, the value will be captured from the correct area of the document. All fields on this invoice are valid and the invoice can therefore be registered. A new purchase invoice has now been created and the scanned document has been attached. This invoice has automatically been coded to the correct GL account and it has been submitted to the user RL for approval. In a moment I will show you how RL approves his invoices. All fields on the next invoice are also valid. However, the system recognized an order number on this invoice and it has automatically been matched to an existing order. This has been done by matching the order number and the total amount. It is also possible to do this on a line by line level. From the newly created invoice, 
you can see that receipt lines have automatically been carried across, and the invoice is now pending approval. You can configure document capture to auto-approve the invoice if the amount on the purchase order in the system matches the amount on the invoice received from the vendor. On the last invoice, I want to capture the invoice lines as well. The first time, I need to tell the system that invoice lines should be captured on all invoices from this vendor. Because I've changed the settings on the template, I need to recognize all fields and lines again. All lines have been recognized correctly, and I can now register the invoice. On the new purchase invoice, all recognized lines have been transferred. Approving invoices with document capture can either be done directly through the NAV client or through a web browser using the optional document capture web approval module. I'll now show you how RL can approve his invoices with the Document Capture Web Approval module. And in the next section of this presentation, I'll show you how you can use the NAV client for approving invoices. I'm now logged in as RL and ready to approve my invoices. From the list, I can see that I currently have three invoices for approval. Clicking one of these shows me the invoice that needs to be approved. At the top of this screen, I have an action bar that lets me go back to the previous list and either approve, reject or forward the invoice. I can also put the invoice on hold. Below this I can see the header details for this invoice and I have a copy of the scanned invoice to the right. I can also see the invoice lines and the user that I'm logged in as has the permission to change these lines. I can submit comments to the invoice and see the approval log. I'm going to change the posting account for this invoice. I'm able to select one of my top 10 GL accounts from the list, or I can get a full list of available GL accounts by clicking Edit List. As RL has been set up as a user in the IT department, he only has access to a very limited set of GL accounts. This is configured on the user in NAV. I'll use the GL account 8310 for this. And now I'll approve the invoice. I get a message telling me that the invoice has been approved and the next invoice for approval automatically comes up. I'm going to reject this one. But before I can do that, I need to enter a comment about why I'm rejecting it. The invoice was rejected and the next invoice comes up. I'll approve this one. All invoices have now been approved by RL and each of them has been sent to the next approver if future approval is required. On two of the invoices that RL approved, AH has been set up as the next approver. I'll now show you how AH is going to approve these invoices using the NAV client. From the list of approval entries, I can see that there are currently two invoices for approval. I'll start by showing the full document for the first invoice. Before I approve the invoice, I can see the account to which it is coded, and at the same time, I can see a copy of the physical invoice received on the right-hand side of the screen. Just like with the web approval module, I can change the lines if I'm permitted to do so, or I can simply approve, reject, or forward the invoice. This invoice has now been approved, and I'll approve the next one as well. All invoices have now been approved and are ready to be posted. I'm now logged in as a user from the Accounts Payable department and I'm ready to handle all approved invoices. 
From the list of invoices, I can see that two have been released, which means that they are ready to be posted. The last one has status open, which means that it has been rejected or not sent for approval yet. I can see that there is a comment on the invoice that was rejected, and I can easily read it and take the appropriate action. I'll use the batch posting functionality to post all invoices that are fully approved. All invoices are now posted and are ready for payment on their respective due dates. The actual payment process will not be changed by using document capture. The archive in document capture makes it easy to locate and view original documents. For example, the original invoice document is accessible from the posted invoice screen using the navigate button. We are using the Navigate screen to access the original document, which means that no matter where we click Navigate in the system, we will get access to the original document. Document Capture also has built-in free text search technology, which makes it possible to search for any text in all registered documents. This is not limited to purchase invoices, but can also be used on contracts, agreements, letters, or any other type of document. In this example, I'm searching for the text iPad. And one document is found. From here, I'm able to get direct access to the registered document and PDF file. Document capture helps you gain efficiencies and reduce costs in your document handling processes. By eliminating manual data entry, streamlining workflow for purchase approvals and providing long-term archiving of all your documents. Thank you for watching the presentation of Document Capture for Microsoft Dynamics NAV. You can get more information about Document Capture on our website and you are very welcome to contact us about implementation and prices.